So Lisa, what are we doing today? We're here today at Mercado Merced, which is the biggest uh, market in Mexico City. And we just got off the metro, and um, we're still actually in the metro line. It drops you off directly into the market. Exactly, it's right in the middle. Yeah, so look, check it out. There's the exit to the subway, to the metro, and right into the market. So, this is uh, one of our favorite things to do, just meander around the markets. Exactly. You know, sometimes we buy some fruits and vegetables. Lots of times just love to look at everything. People yep. watch, thing watch. How they make the food, or just barter with the yeah. people, or buy little things. But today we're going to buy some lunch in here because uh, pretty soon I'm going to be hungry. Me too. So come meander with us. Let's go! And we're in. There's always a little bit of everything in here. Want some crocs? Hey, got them over here. Really? Pesos. Where, where, where were they when I needed some for the hot tub with special? Yeah. Want some chicken? You can get it here. Oh, look, I got the chicken too. So, Mexico City's outlawed plastic bags. So, uh, here in the Merced, they're actually selling shopping bags. Over here on the far side is the pots and pans, heavy industrial cooking section. I like the red. Piñatas. in this corner, I don't know what these big bags are here. I suspect. Lisa says these are used to wrap tamales in. You know, like corn husks, but corn I'm gonna husk. look it up. You buy a whole sheet of them? What do you do with these big leaves? Gross. <laughs> are they construction materials? Eat them. They are so not some, just any leaves. They're some agave. They're agave leaves. It's right here in the center of the market. Come across this. Now we're coming into the shoe section. Shoes as far as you can see. Party City Discount Warehouse. Only tacky. It's all about Valentine's Day here. Yeah. It's all about Valentine's Day. People go all out of it. They do. It's all about celebrating. You gotta give them credit for that. That's pretty awesome. Yep. Well, it was nice coming here to the Merced, but... But we've been walking for about 10 blocks trying to get out of it. And I have to say that it's the never-ending God from hell. We're, we're in, but we can't get out. <laughs> or find food. We did, we did find some food inside the Merced, but uh, the music was so loud it drove us away. Everything oh, was so look, stimulating. Look, we may have made it out. Uh, uh. We're going to go across the street here. Well, no wonder it was so hard getting out of there. That thing was huge. Yeah, the Mercado Merced is, uh, I read it was the biggest market in Latin America, or one of the biggest markets in Latin America. 
And I, I also read they took, uh, it has 5,000 stalls in the place. Right. And it's divided into seven sections. And um, there, there are people now giving uh, four-hour tours of the, of the market itself, which, which, I can, which I can understand, because once you get in there, as you just heard us, we couldn't figure out how to get out. Well, and part of the problem is that, that there are all these tianguis along the edges, those temporary pop-up uh, markets, markets that sort of seem to keep going on and on for layers and layers and blocks and blocks, and so you have to navigate all those to finally get out of there. Yeah, I mean, uh, what we saw, the prices were good. Uh, however, I would actually think twice about actually going back there and looking for anything in no, particular. It was really too big. <laughs> but, but it's really interesting, Bob. It's really old. It, it's in the spot where the... Um, the Aztec market stood, I mean, way back, yeah. a couple thousand years ago. Yeah, so, so it's, you know, at least several hundred years ago, yeah. and, uh, well, you know, before the, uh, before the Spaniards came, so uh, yeah, it's, it's been there for a long, long time. In fact, it's, uh, you know, it's also sort of a, a well-known area for prostitution. Yes, it is, though <laughs> I, I forgot to look for those ladies at the night. Of course, it was the day. It was the day. And in fact, I would never go there at night. No, and they, they say, very don't, dangerous they say don't go there at night. And gangs but, hang out there. Yeah, but uh, they say that the prostitutes are, are there all all the time, principally uh, to service the uh, the truck drivers. That's right. While were, they're waiting for their trucks to be unloaded, unloaded. <laughs> give but, them something to do. But uh, we didn't we didn't see any. But uh, no. uh, it's probably a good thing for us. But uh, oh no! Once again, I was super exhausted by the time I came out. I had enough of the uh, of the market. It's uh, certainly a very interesting experience. Um, highly recommend it. You go in and uh, you really experience uh, you know, true Mexico there. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, anyhow. Anyhow, thanks for joining us at Mercado Merced and may your suitcase always be messy. And don't forget to ring the bell to be notified when we put up more of our videos. Until next time, hasta luego. Hasta la vista.